very purpose of this study human trafficking was to understand what are the triggers at the back of social triggers political triggers cultural triggers and kind of you know specific context based specific triggers how does it happen how human trafficking is sure facilitated entertained and it is still done in our society i'm talking about the global society though it is prohibited there are good number of laws international and domestic but it is still happening and people are still feel, feeling the pain of it sure to feel the pathology of it it is being felt it is being experienced human trafficking takes place in most socio economic political cultural and traditional settings and it's the most heinous and sinister kind of crime which is certainly an embarrassment and a pathology on a human society you're watching riso and this is swinger again this narration and presentation is based on one of my writing recently published in 2022 titled beyond the inclusive possibility understanding human trafficking in the unexplored directions in the indian context on human trafficking and i just want to explain you what are the possible factors what are the reasons typology definition few graphs about human trafficking specifically in the indian context i'll share you the link also and i will also share some of my details what was this publication all about and how i shall film prepared it and what kind of what types of what types of highlighted areas and thoughts i have presented and included in this research paper and it's going to read the abstract of this research paper so just have patience and just watch me read that such objective is to study human trafficking and its typology and various socio cultural political economic triggers responsible for the sinister social reality and also analyze gender and age based victimization also simultaneously examining the international and domestic laws to combat human trafficking and its implementable capacities the proposed examination was an exploratory qualitative sample based survey study introduction i'm just going to read please watch me here human trafficking takes place in almost all social political cultural economic and legal context in recent years human trafficking has been identified as a form of modern slavery as a threat to human security as one of the greatest human rights challenges of our time in today's changing global scenario human trafficking is the new slave trade this analogy implies that people who are trafficked live under conditions equal to those experienced by slaves in former times human trafficking has thus become an important issue of concern transcending borders and affecting countries all over the world human trafficking is considered to be the world to be the third largest source of profit for organized crime the points we need to understand their political cultural and economic and social triggers and it's a form of modern slavery today new slave trade is also called human trafficking new slave trade so we need to understand the magnitude and intensity of this human pathology and social pathology it's a crime and there are tremendous amount of primogenetic factors that have been existing in our society that have been promoted in our society and they cause human trafficking in a very tremendous way sometimes and most of those traffickings go unnoticed because of sloppy implementation of laws domestic international and sometimes political slumber administrative slumber and the slumber of those law maintaining agencies which are responsible to sort of combat and hunt human trafficking process This research also has found out that human trafficking is most of the times migration went terribly wrong migration gone terribly wrong if the migration process or the entire migration goes terribly wrong 
the low socio-economic political uh, administrative factors, social factors, economic factors, political factors would come into the play and would cause for the fertile ground for human trafficking to take place. And once again, I just want to say it's human trafficking, it's migration terribly gone wrong. The, the study has also found out human trafficking cases is IPC, Indian Penal Code. I have also mentioned in my research paper 2022 IPC crimes like number of states and their hierarchy in what magnitude the trafficking takes place. So have a watch of that all. It's quite important for us to understand the definition perspective of human trafficking, what it is. By doing that, we will understand the magnitude, the sort of, you know, the entire gamut of human trafficking, and we would also explore the different dimensions and different factors responsible, what kind of crimogenetic trigger is at the back of it. So I would just read it. Please watch. Definition and epistemological interpretation of human trafficking in persons is the recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, or receipts of persons by means of threat or use of force and other forms of coercion or abduction of fraud, of deception, of abuse of power, of subtle inducement that take advantage of an individual's vulnerability or the use of force or violence for the purpose of exploitation like prostitution, servitude, forced labors or services including begging, trade in organs, marriage, adoption and child soldiering. Whereas in Indian context, special scaffolding support is there providing legal mechanisms such as like there are a good number like Goa, Children Act is also there, then ITPA is there. Uh, which is like Immoral Trafficking Prevention Act 1956. I'm just going to read that out. The special law in India dealing with trafficking is the Immoral Trafficking Prevention Act 1956. It punishes acts by third parties facilitating prostitution like brothel keeping, living on the earnings of somebody, selling her body for sex, procuring, inducing or taking a person for the purpose of prostitution and detaining a person in premises where prostitution is carried on. Prostitution and trafficking are interlinked in Indian law to the extent that ITPA deals with trafficking for commercial sexual exploitation. ITPA provides punishment even, even for attempting to traffic a person. Therefore, even before a person is physically trafficked, the law comes into operation. Section 5 of ITPA speaks of procuring, taking or even inducing a person for the sake of Prostitution, according to this section, even attempts to procure and attempts to take or cause a person to carry on prostitution amounts to trafficking. Even attempting a person for sexual, sexual purposes is considered as an offence according to ITP in 1956. In human trafficking, we must understand the entire process such as like recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring or receipt of a person. In all these stages, the exploitation happens. Human trafficking is very much exploitation specific process and industry. The person literally becomes less than an animal. The quality of that person, the life of that person who is trafficked terribly goes down and it's a heinous and sinister crime at the same time. The feel of it, the person who is trafficked, his or her experience is literally down. It's beyond explanation and sort of, you know, our understanding. So we need to take this subject, we need to take this issue of human trafficking very seriously. Most of the times what happens we just don't think about it very seriously and strongly and directly because we think it's a matter of next to a door. It is never going to happen to us until and unless it happens to us. Maybe a known person or someone from our family is trafficked and we understand the 
exact visibility and sort of reality of it yes it is existing as one of the social reality one of the social you know possibility and visibility so that has to be kept in mind and we must have proper awareness about human trafficking that inner awareness at the same time that external awareness must also be caused by our attitude by our behavior by our sort of you know manifestation so that we can educate others also constitution mechanism about human trafficking there are certain articles which categorically speak about human trafficking and sort of you know combating mechanism is also reflected by them such as like article 14 it says equality before the law and equal protection of the law then article 21 protection of life and personal liberty article 23 prohibition of trafficking in human beings and other similar forms of forced labels article 24 Prohibition of employment of children in any factory, mine, and other hazardous work. So these articles, 14, then 21, 23, and 20, 24, they talk about equality, equal treatment, kind of prohibition also. Maintaining that balance in our society, so combating and trying to put a check on human trafficking. The research has also talked about uh, classical typology of human trafficking, which is quite uh, relevant for us to understand. Human trafficking, trafficking for sexual exploitation, human trafficking for labor exploitation, human trafficking for medical exploitation, human trafficking for entertainment and sports, sports, sports exploitation, human trafficking for child soldier and sexual exploitation we understand that people are being trafficked they are trafficked for sexual pleasure and sexual reasons sexual purposes then cheap labor purposes also there then medical such as organ transplantation and their other body uh, parts which are taken out of their bodies and given to those people who are required in a much expensive fashion and manner reasons also People are exploited, such as camel jockeying and other things. And then child soldiering is also there that we understand. So we need to keep this sort of typology and classification of human trafficking, sexual exploitation, labor exploitation, medical exploitation, entertainment exploitation, and then child soldiering exploitation. We need to also understand that it's important for us to understand that exploitation happens at every stage. Recruitment stage exploitation happens. Transportation stage exploitation happens. Transfer stage exploitation happens. Harboring stage exploitation happens. And receive certainly and majorly. And the magnitude is very heavy. heavy. There happens exploitation again. NHRC, National Human Rights Commission of India, says it's a demand-driven industry, human trafficking. It says human trafficking is a demand-driven industry when it comes to trafficking for sexual exploitation, which accounts for more than half of human trafficking and is primarily for prostitution, pedophilia, and pornography, according to a study conducted by National Human Rights Commission of India, NHRC of India, 82.5% of traffickers stated that they supply women and children on demand. There are certain features and certain characters. There are certain characteristics and manifestations which we as society global reasoner can develop in us in order to combat and handle human trafficking in a much better and a smarter way. I have talked about in my recent research papers also such as concretizing human concretizing social solidarity during COVID-19, a Dukemian perspective in which I have talked about incarnated social facts about making social, making social solidarity. I have here also talked about social solidarity in terms of like incarnated social facts, how they can be instrumental and kind of better mechanism in order to combat, in order to come against human trafficking. Incarnated social facts with distinctive characteristics, particular and precise manners of acting, behaving, thinking, and organizing social actions, manifestations with troubleshooting, rescue, and life maintaining, and promising possibilities. And incarnated social facts can further be 
extended as incarnated social actions, incarnated social behaviors, and incarnated social possibilities and manifestations in a social crisis, pathology, emergency, and disaster, an action, behavior, collectivity, and fortitude which can bring order and maintain human life and human society in a healthy way and functions as antithetical to social chaos, anarchy, and disorder can be called incarnated social facts, thus they can contribute massively against this heinous practice of human trafficking in our society as they are immensely enriched and enhanced with chaos, anarchy and troubleshooting mechanisms by various actions, behaviors, collectivity and fortitude to combat and erase human trafficking from the human society. So we need to understand that these incarnated social facts can certainly do wonders in order to cause global connectivity and collectivity while standing against human trafficking. Well, this was just a brief skeleton and a kind of a scaffolding support. I just want to sort of put forward in this publication on human trafficking. I'll be doing some more down the road on human trafficking, exploring and expanding and sort of trying to enrich. Thanks a lot for watching.